get to grips with the iOS version of Res Diary Plus. This film will give you an overview of the interface, how to navigate the app, and introduce some key tools and buttons. The interface is broken into three sections. Primary controls across the top, one of four diary views in the middle, and a timeline at the bottom. Dragging on the timeline allows you to change which time interval you are looking at in the diary. The selected time is highlighted in orange. The number of covers for each interval is shown above, and a total is included on the left. On the right, there is an arrow to reveal the expected arrivals and waitlist windows. The expected arrival window shows all bookings and walk-ins for that day, including closed bookings, diners currently seated, and expected bookings for all services and unallocated bookings. Each booking includes the name of the diner where available, the time of their booking, the number of covers, which table they are sat on, and a plus button that quickly allows you to change the meal status for a sat guest or the arrival status for an expected booking. Filter lets you refine which bookings appear in the window, whether just expected arrivals, seated guests, closed tables, or filter by service. You can tap the booking to bring up the booking information page. This is covered in detail in the editing a booking or walk-in film linked in the descriptor. Unallocating a booking will remove the booking from the grid view and add it to the expected arrivals window as unallocated. If possible, the diary will automatically reseat the booking at a table that best utilises the availability within the diary. If the diary is unable to do this, the booking will be held in the unallocated list and you will have to manually manage the bookings to find suitable availability. The waitlist window shows all current guests waiting on the waitlist. This is covered in detail in the waitlist film linked in the descriptor. Across the top, from left to right, the menu icon opens the settings menu. If you have more than one venue, tap the blue button to select another venue and open its diary. Here you can navigate between the two diary views, the table plan view and the grid view. These are covered in detail in their own film, linked in the descriptor. We can also view just the waitlist and the cancellation list. The cancellation list shows information about each cancellation and has buttons to show further information about the guest, show the complete booking history and reseat the booking using the edit booking window. This is also covered in detail in the editing a booking or walk-in film linked in the descriptor. Back in the settings menu, the general section contains settings including app preferences, diary users, chit printing options, information on the app version and a link to the privacy policy. Help includes various walkthroughs for features within the app, our support forum and a feedback tool. Finally, you can sign out and return to the login screen where you can pick users from the disks on the bottom left or enter your login details. The app allows for up to eight iPads to be linked together. This is called TeamShare, and by tapping this button, you can see information from other devices and turn TeamShare and TeamShare notifications off and on. The clock icon lets you return to the current time interval in the diary. This will only appear when you are at an interval in the past or the future. Last Sync shows when the device last updated with the main diary. You can tap this button to force an update. The app can run in offline mode, but any booking made while offline will not appear in the main diary until you're back online and vice versa. The date on which you are viewing the diary is shown here. You can navigate forward and back a day with the arrows or tap the date to bring up a calendar to navigate to a specific date. Next to this is a button bespoke to each view. In the table plan, it lets you select from different views if you have more than one. 
In the grid view, it lets you jump to a specific service. The three buttons on the right are the closeout, walk-in and booking buttons. These are covered in detail in their own films linked in the descriptor. To get support when you need it, click the help icon and submit a ticket to one of our support team members who will pick it up and send you the solution. Search the knowledge base for step-by-step -step guides or if you are unable to access the above, email us on support at resdiary.com and we will be in touch with you as soon as possible.